thanks for being here. Uh, tough one today. Uh, you gotta give credit where credit is due. Coach Martin and the staff did a, good, did a really, really good job. That's the reason why they're picked to win the league and return a lot of several guys on both sides of the ball. Player of the year on offense, player of the year on defense. Uh, we'd have to play basically flawless. Um, they deserve to win the football game. Uh, you know, I could say I could say a turnover here or turnover there, but it, it made us they made us one dimensional on offense. Uh, not enough running game uh, to, to really get anything established. Uh, you know, on offense and then defense was on the field uh, way too much in, in the first half. I don't think we got a first down until late in the second half. And that, again, that's a uh, tribute to, to Miami's defense. Um, I tell you, I am proud of the, the way the guys uh, finished the game. They fought for four quarters. Um, you know, my standard thing is, hey, 24 hours, win or lose, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to correct the mistakes that we can, uh, tr uh, try to, to – uh, Put it behind us, but we're going to forge ahead uh, as we got a, a quality opponent coming in at, at home uh, in Buffalo. It uh, should be a well of a matchup. Uh, they're not going to feel sorry for us, so uh, we're going to lean on our leaders and do what we do as a staff. And look forward to getting home in front of a home crowd. And um, yeah, so that'll open the questions. Uh, Andrew Bovey at WB Coach. What specifically do you think the Miami defense did so well in that first half to kind of stop your offense? They do a great job on getting you behind the chains, all right? If you're one-dimensional, you've got to be uh, really good in the throw game, all right? Uh, they they, they uh, uh, make a living on tackle for losses on first and second, get you in third and long, and they tee off. Uh, we had trouble protect, protecting them because we were one-dimensional, and the score got out of hand. Uh, Again, they're very difficult to run on. They've got a veteran ball club. I think it's uh, their front seven is six and seven are seniors. A couple of them are bad seniors, right? Um, so, and then we just couldn't put enough pressure on their defense and to keep our our defense off the field. And, you know, we, we banned and they finally popped a long run and the score got to be what the score was. And then as a follow-up to that, Matt Salopek seemed to be making a lot of plays for them, their linebacker. Just what did you think of his performance and how do you, you know, kind of affect your offense? One, I want to, I hope that he's out of eligibility. I mean, he is a great player, uh, class act, and he flies around just like uh, Brett on offense. Things go through him. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm a reference, reference to play and, and film preparation. I've never seen it in my 36 years of coaching. They're playing, uh, I think, Cincinnati. Both safeties spin down. They're a one-high team a lot of times. Both safeties spin down. There's nobody in the middle of the field. He plays. He's a linebacker and runs out of there and plays the one-high safety without making any adjustment and makes makes him right. He's a linebacker. All right. I mean, he is. I mean, smart. Um, again, that's why he's player of the year. Bobby Keegan with the post. Coach, this is the second time this year you guys have taken Parker Navarro out of the game in the middle of the game. How would you rate your confidence level in him at this point? Yeah, I, again, there's there's nothing with confidence that we just need to spark. Um, that's how I, that's how we saw it. Uh, he's totally fine. Uh, we just felt like hey, we needed some some spark. Uh, Grant Key for WAB, of course, two really different defenses between Central Michigan and Miami. Why exactly, from in your eyes, did you uh, feel like you guys came out a little bit more aggressive last week compared to this week in the first half on the offense in particular? Mm. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I, I ask me on Monday, to be honest with you, I, I don't know the number of throws, you know, in, 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 in the first, you know, first quarter, you know, um, in my mind, you know, we have pre-script and we have the plays that we think are, are going to work. Um, I didn't feel like we were that we were conservative more this week than last. That's really all I can say to it now. Going back to the quarterback situation, Nick came in the fourth quarter, led two touchdown drives. What did you make of his performance today? I, 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 again, I want to say it's a bright spot, and it was not um, easy to play in the, uh, the quarterback in the fourth quarter. And they're teeing off, no one were going to throw the ball. He had to create with his feet, moved in the pocket, made some throws down the field, and he, he took a couple shots. You know, and, and got back up. Uh, so I'm I'm really proud of him and uh, leading us down. And uh, so I'm gonna, I'm going to take it as a positive. 
Charlie Fidel from the Post. Coach, just what is the locker room like after all? They're, they're disappointed. They're down. Uh, you know, they 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 feel like they they've let down uh, an alumni base that put so much into this game. We all do, right? And uh, they're disappointed in themselves for the letdown piece. But the staff's not going to let them stay down. All right, we know they're going to fight and get back up. Uh, they, they just don't, you know. Right now, they're just uh, when you invest as much as they do, it's gonna it's gonna hurt, right? And um, you know, my heart goes out to them, but. The staff's going to show up uh, and continue to inspire these guys, and they're going to they're going to answer the bell. Body keeper, WOUB. Coach, there were two drives from Miami that were one play drives. How do you um, rebound from that, and how do you tighten up your defense going into next week? That's a good question. I um, I know the one the one one play drive was the long run. We had a, we had a stun on. We thought we had a we had a good call. Um, we just didn't get in there. We thought we had a tackle for loss. We didn't make it. We popped through there. And then showed some really good speed uh, to finish the run. Uh, the other one I'm, I can't uh, recall off the top of my head, but obviously you don't want that. Um, as we've been a defense throughout the, whole, the course of the season, it has not given up a lot of big play, a lot of big plays. You know. So um, again, I know they're disappointed on offense, our defense. Excuse me, but um, again, I'm just going to spin it. Our guys didn't quit. Uh, Miami had a lot to do with how, what the score was, and some of those things. They got a good football team. Again, I'm. Uh, they picked to win the whole thing. They returned a ton of guys. They're at home. You know, they got a tenured coach. I mean, I can. The list goes on. Um, so. Um, Don, it's his first start since the Syracuse game. A couple guys coming back on defense, and then, of course, another week without Austin Brawley. What did you just make of the secondary as a whole today? Um, again, I'll know more on, on Monday when I watch the film, but I know it's it's great to see it, have the Donis out there. He has not played since the first half, I think, against Syracuse. And uh, he's playing with some pain, um, but I think it's, it's manageable now. And we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna build off of it. I, I, I think, again, I don't, I'll hold my comments on, on each, each guy. Um, in the secondary, but but um, I just know they're they're uh, they want to be good, and we got to we got to put them in positions to be good. Coach, at the beginning of the year, you said that there wasn't going to be a team that went undefeated in the MAC. <laughs> now that's correct, yes, sir. And, and I think I said that it could be two. Be, there could be teams with two losses. So now that you guys aren't undefeated in the MAC, this is your first loss. How do you kind of use this loss? Kind of use this feeling going forward? Yeah. Um, They're all tough, um, you know. It's tournament play. Uh, the, the structure of the league uh, now is going to make for exciting top to bottom. There, there's, um, you know, you look at last year, the teams that returned to quarterback were successful, right? Um, this year, top to bottom, I think it's very, very competitive. Um, it's going to be really interesting. Uh, we're not even. <coughs> You know, talking about well, uh, you know, last year, okay, Miami had to lose twice. You know, all that's all that's out the window, right? But this team is—it's a different team for us. You know, we're, we're where we are. It's one at a time, and we've got to um, again correct some things, try to try to move some pieces around. We got a couple of injuries, a couple of injuries in the second half, uh, particularly um, on offense. So I, I think it's going to be uh, down to the last week. For, for there'll be several teams in the mix. <laughs> that's right. That's what. That's that's what I think.